Positive Pay is a feature in Sage 100 ERP that's designed to help you work with your bank to prevent check fraud. Positive Pay creates a file containing a list of issued checks that you upload to your bank. Your bank then uses that file to verify the information on each check as they're presented for payment. A prerequisite to using this feature is to obtain your bank's positive pay specifications and set up your export settings accordingly. Sage 100 ERP provides a positive pay export setup wizard, and in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the setup process. Please note that information entered during this tutorial is for demonstration purposes only and does not comply with the positive pay file format of any banking institution. So now let's jump right in and get started. The first step is to obtain the positive pay file format instructions from your bank since they are specific to each institution. For our demonstration, we'll assume that we have these specifications in hand. The next step is to log into Sage 100 ERP, which we've already done, and on the menu tree, we'll select Bank Reconciliation, Main, Positive Pay Export. This window lists our existing export settings, and we currently have one setting created. Here we can modify, copy, or delete an existing export, or we can create a new one. For this tutorial, we're going to create a new export, so we'll click on New Export Setting, and this opens the Positive Pay Export Wizard. The Export Details link will display help for configuring the Positive Pay Export file, but we'll skip this for our demonstration and click Next. Here we'll enter a name for this export setting, and for demo purposes, we'll enter Wells Fargo. Note that you may not use any special characters in this field, and once you save it, it can't be changed. Moving to the description, we'll enter Wells Fargo Checking Account. The description allows up to 40 characters and can be edited later as opposed to the name above. Now let's click Next. Here we'll choose the export setting format and we have two options. The first is to create an export setting format from a sample format. This option provides predefined templates that may be used to get you started. Let's take a look at the sample formats under this option by clicking Next. We'll view the Wells Fargo sample by highlighting it and clicking View Sample Format, then Preview. Let's assume that after comparing the specifications provided by our bank with the sample format here, that they don't match. Accordingly, we won't proceed any further with this option, so we'll close the preview and click the Back button. The second option here is to create a new export setting format. This is the more common choice since you can configure the settings to your bank's specifications. We'll select this option and click Next. Here we'll specify the export setting file format. For the format to use to export the data, our bank specifications require that the data be comma delimited and the file extension needs to be CSV. You can refer to the descriptions above to help you make the appropriate selection here. Now moving on, we'll click Next. Here we're asked to define the record type requirements and we're provided two options. Single record type, which will allow one record type per export, or multiple, which will allow up to seven record types. The most common is single, which we'll select. Again, the information above can assist you with these options. And continuing on, we'll click Next. Here we'll define formatting information for the detail record. Again, we're going to complete the field here using our bank specifications. We'll leave the value for an issued check type blank. For the value to indicate a reversal check type and a void check type, we'll leave the default, which is V. For the question, do we need to include the payee name for reversed and voided checks, we'll uncheck this box. In the bottom section, we'll select the fields and enter the formatting required by our bank specification. On the first line, under Field Description, we'll select Check Type Indicator, and this will be in column 1, with a length of 1 and left justification. On the second line, we'll select Check Slash Serial Number, and this will be in column 2, with a length of 6 characters and left justification. Next, we'll select Payee Name, 
and this will be in column 3 with the length of 30 and left justification. And finally, we'll select the amount, and this will be in column 4 with the length of 12 characters and write justification. Now that the fields needed for the file have been entered, we'll go ahead and click Next. Here we'll specify the check types to export, and we have three options issues only, issues and reversals, or issues reversals and voids. We'll select issues reversals and voids and click Next. Here we'll determine how the data will be exported. Since our file type is comma delimited, we'll check the box to have commas removed from the payee name. We don't need to have checks sorted by check date and we don't need to combine bank code data. However, if your bank allows multiple accounts to be imported in one file, you may want to enable combining of bank code data. Continuing on, we'll click Next. Here we'll select a file name format for our export file, and we have three options. Run date and bank code, run date plus bank code plus sequence, or ARP with the X's representing the sequence number, which will increment each time a file is created. We'll select Run Date plus Bank Code plus Sequence and click Next. Here we'll specify the location to save the export file, and for demo purposes, we're going to save our file to our Sage Paperless Office folder. Note that you may want to set security on this folder to restrict access. Now we'll click Next. Here we'll select our Positive Pay export defaults. We can select the default bank code and dollar amount range to be exported. For example, you may only want to have checks over a specific dollar amount exported for verification. We'll set the bank code operand to equal to, and for the value, we'll open the lookup and select bank code D, our Wells Fargo checking account. If we leave the value here blank, we can select it at the time of export. We'll elect not to set a dollar amount since we want all of our checks to be exported for verification. We also have options to include checks already exported and to mark checks as being reconciled after exporting. We'll leave these options disabled, but they can also be changed at the time of export. At this point, we can view a sample of the file to be created by hitting the Preview Sample button. If your bank provided a sample in their specifications, you can verify the data and format against the preview. Let's close the preview and click Next. We've reached the final step in the wizard, and this screen provides an option to print the wizard listing or view your selections in the scrolling box. Whichever option you choose, you should take this opportunity to verify your selections against your bank's specifications. Before clicking the Finish button, we can choose to execute an export file and or return to the Positive Pay export window. If we leave the options blank and click Finish, the export file settings will be saved and will be returned to our desktop. We'll leave both unchecked and click Finish. And that completes our demonstration. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your Sage 100 ERP system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.